Hi right, guys, welcome back again. Um, as I told you this past week was the uh, York Train Show week. I should say week. The official show was Thursday, Friday, and today. Uh, however, they have a flea market, and every year they have several hotels that have uh, flea markets at them. Uh, I find this number 38. Yes, this is the number 38 again. The other number 38 is still in on the bench waiting to be fixed. Um, I did find this one because I like the way they looked. I like the way they run. Once again, it's a good runner. It's not beautiful. It's not perfect. I, I never went for that. I always like something that has been used or played with. Um, has a little character to it. Somebody really liked it. Um, this particular one was at the uh, Wyndham Garden Hotel down in uh, York. And I found at the same table, the guy had a boatload of these. These are just the old uh, ballast cars. When I say a boatload, he had a boatload. I'm not sure how many of them, <laughs> but it was probably 40, 50 of them on his table. Uh, the 38 they made from 1913 to 24. The, uh, the 116, the ballast cars, they made 14 types of these, 14 different colors and road names of these cars. Um, I thought they were cool. They're very simple to operate. Get the 38 out of the way here. The lever on the side. Hook in. Bloop. The door is open. Ballast falls out. Look at the bottom. Simple. Simple little trigger on this thing. Open. Closed. I thought they'd look cool. You'll probably see these on the Christmas display this year that I'm going to have. As always, going around uh, the tree. I thought I could fill them with stuff. I bought three of them off the guy. There it is, the number one, uh, 116. They're short little cars. Very basic. I just thought it had a cool, primitive look to it. Just a hook coupler. And trucks. That's it. It came in 14 different varieties of these little things. Very cool. But as I said, I haven't fixed my 38 yet. This is a new one. It works. It works very nice. Forward reverse on the side here. Unlike mine, it's exploded into three pieces at this point. It was only two before. Uh, this shell is in all together, intact. Plus, you can read the writing very nice. And it has its share of dings and marks, but still a nice little engine. While I was there at the Wyndham, well, this guy had a tool set there. Never had one of these Lionel tool sets. I was told it's an early version of the tool set. You got a hoe to reach inside the boiler, pull out the coal. You got a rake to pull the coal down. And you got a pick. What the pick is for, I don't know. But well, we all know what it's for in the dirt. I think it would be a shovel with this too, but there's not. And I was lucky enough to find a couple of these um, early figures from Lionel. Two of them right now. This guy. And this guy. The oiler. And the baggage carrier. And he has his suitcase in hand too. These I think are repainted. Well, this one isn't. This one is, I believe. I believe they're supposed to be blue. I'll try to zoom in on that. The figure is supposed to be painted blue. Blue jacket. And black. The oiler. 
He's missing the spout off of his can. And looks like he lost a hand in an accident. Um, also, find a nice little guy going to work. Carrying his lunch bag, bucket, whatever you want to call it. And a very nice die cast bench. And I thought these were just very nice looking, very exceptional. They're usually really banged up. These are just a little bit banged up, <laughs> but not so bad. And his lady friend right there. They're just kind of hanging out. But, like I said, they're not in bad shape. They're as old as they are. So, anyways, guys, I appreciate it. If you're looking, tuning in. Um, as always, I, uh, do I have any more? I'm looking around here. I thought I had a couple more pieces. Yeah, I do. Find this. This is just your average car, but I like them. Back up. Okay. It's this this one here. I think these are sweet. I run these all over my layout. It's a twenty seven fifty eight pre war automobile carrier. Uh, nice deal on it. So it all dented, banged up. The um, only issue with it was there's one door here, and here's the other door. I guess when somebody was at the show, they picked it up like this, stuck their thumb her finger through the door and busted it in half. That happens. They're die cast. Um, I'm going to try gluing it. If not, I can find a, another one online somewhere. But I run these. I think they're just the coolest looking cars. They're not big. They're not small. Um, they're not pretty or anything. But it just looks like a real train. Um, well, as always, anyways, thanks for tuning in. Thank you for uh, all your support. And please, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Please uh, do leave a comment and uh, have a great day. And if you haven't been to York train shows, try to get there. There's another one coming up in the fall down in York, Pennsylvania. Thanks a lot and have a good day.